Hey, those guys were on their phones. Kind of took I'm them. Getting my show notes. Took them by surprise with that jamming right at Dang. six p.m. Like Ooh, six on the head. Six p.m. Right uh, on the barrel head. Music <laughs> action. Hey, everybody! It's Full Spectrum Cycling. Show number two hundred fifty-three. It says on this thing. That is correct, sir. All right. I couldn't then. think of anything clever with that. Doesn't story. really lend itself to anything, does it? Yeah, it's like your early. Except it makes ten. It, it adds up to yeah. ten. Okay. Ten. Ten. Let's uh, sing a song Dudley of Moore. ten. How many is ten? Dudley ten. Moore and Bo Derek. Ten dogs. Slowly running down oh, the beach. Oh yeah, that was a good. Bolero. I re- is that your I registered for River West Twenty Four? Oh, yeah, I've got that sticker somewhere. I yeah. stuck it on my dash today because I was on my coat and it kind of fell off. Nice. Well, might as well start with the registration then, eh? I guess. We're here, huh? So, um, uh, so you all, uh, did you all wait in line? I did. A little bit. Well, no, I didn't wait in line. <laughs> I was at the front of the line. <laughs> we, we waited a little bit in line. Yeah. Thanks well, for bringing coffee. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Delicious. So what I was thinking was you had put something on the book face about it, and Jessica asked what time you got there. And I was like, I don't know if I should answer that because people will know that they don't have to get there the day before anymore. They'll be like, well, I'll get there at 6 in the morning. Asked, I, didn't, I didn't see her oh, respond. Oh, yeah. I was be like, well, he got there at quarter after 7 and still number, well, two, two. essentially. But, yeah. So it went but well. Technically, we're team 26. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's the whole deal is why waste your time? Show up at, well, no, you can't show up at 10 to 10 because there was already a huge line. The line was like two blocks long. It was well, you're two gonna, blocks long. If you're waiting in line for VIP, you're going to get in. Yes. Well, right. you eventually get, you may not. You will get in. So the lottery is whatever's left. True. Yep. So as long as that, you know, that's the mentality that I was given. We know your mentality. About that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I played it just right. So how many do you think people were in the lottery still Right at the end when he was threatening that this is the last number to be called. Did some people knock it in? I don't know. I kind of bailed Whoa. because it, it was getting stretched out at the end to see if they could accommodate. Oh. Yeah. And but there seemed to be a lot that, but a lot of them queued up for perfect strangers. Right. So. Which was what you get at the end. At the very end. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, Which is you don't know anybody on your team if anybody although, doesn't already know that. Although talking to... I'm terrible with her name, but the lady we always see at Amorphic right before I came here because I got here early and I stopped and had a beer. Go figure. Um, she's going to have a tandem for people to ride, and then it dawned on us, convoy tandems. Huh. Like if there's two people on a tandem, that doesn't count because no, you need, like you no, need like a six fleet, people, a fleet of three oh, a fleet. tandems so does, tandeming together. So does oh, convoy God. mean bikes or people? Convoy is all the riders have to be on the course at the same time. So right. I would suppose a tandem and two cyclists would be fine. Gotcha. So that would be four people. Four people. But you could have three people on individual bikes and still be. As long as you're all. Convoy. The whole deal with convoy is all three of you or X amount of people have to hit the, all the checkpoints at the same time. Right. Yeah, so you're always like riding together. But tandem convoy. And yeah. who's and who's the youngest guy on our team? <laughs> Because uh, when can we be elder? Because uh, I elderly, the elderly I team. I think Tony and I are already hey, in on elder. Yeah, it's either Anthony or Pedro. By the way, that's Thanks. Tony. I'm Tony. JK is over there with his uh, 2022 RW24 shirt. Don't on. be a jerk, man. 23. 22. 22. I'm looking at oh, it. It says 22. Stain. Nice stain, dude. <laughs> if you need to spare one of those, I have four. I'm Sven, by the sure. way, just right, Sven. in case nobody knew that already. Uh, so yeah, so that, so that went well, and that it went well. Went well. I, I'm not going to bring up the, the home front and how, I got yelled at for not telling my kids. I am going to bring it up, I guess, for not <laughs> telling my kids that registration was coming up because every year during the 24, they're like, or at least Sydney for sure. Oh, I want to do that. All right. Well, am I supposed to remind you, or can you just figure it out on your own that you can go to the website and You're figure supposed it out? To remind her, Greg. Apparently, apparently, I'm supposed to remind her. So. There's a happy medium somewhere. Yeah, I, I'm st- <laughs> I'm probably talking to Wendy by now, by the time this show airs. <laughs> Ouch. Well, it's... I asked my daughter to ride, and she said, I'll think about it. I'm like, then you lose. Yeah. You're riding. No. Uh, so well, there- registration also is your opportunity to give the money. 
Right. To And then have somebody else accurately time you. And that's it. Right. That's really. It. Right. And I said. I mean, if I, if I wouldn't have got in. I would have just ridden around. Still written, and, written yeah. anyway. Yeah. Which so I timed myself out that way. I you did. Know, I did send a. a I sent world. a family text that said, "Volunteer this year. Here's the email address. Then you'll be a VIP. You'll be sure to get in next year. <laughs> They'll send you a bunch of emails to remind you that it's right. coming up. That's the key. And just spend your two hours or four hours or whatever it is that you're going to do to volunteer somewhere during this year's event, and then next and then year, you next year golden. So. And I didn't get the heckled too bad. Problem by, solved. By Jeremy, though. <laughs> just a slight, just a smidge. All right. A little smidge. That's our River West 24 thing. <laughs> Why well, was a heck of a weekend for music? Hell yeah, it was. Yeah. Around our Milwaukee area. Ding, 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 I'm sorry, I got that. That's going to be stuck in my day. Was, was that a cowbell? Yes. Uh, Los Straight Jackets at uh, Shank Hall. Poor mm. Shank Hall. Poor Shank Hall. Same awesome night. show, awesome show. So you probably could have made it to Jake at Vegas, possibly. I was on my way, and then I was like, I just want to go home. I'm tired. Right and on. That's what I ended up doing. What time was that going to? Well, I think Jake started close to 10, and then Mike uh, What's-His-Mug yeah. was after, so that went to okay. about midnight, okay. give or take. No, I would have missed out on that. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how late Shank Hall goes. Well, it was it, it was longer than I was expecting. But here's here's one of the greatest of, things. Time is a flat circle, man. This is one of the greatest things that happened this weekend. The first mosh pit ever at Amorphic. Nice. Is that right? <laughs> thanks wow. to partially was, thanks to Alex and Ron. I, Ron wanted he was started a little moshing, and then Alex was off work, so I pushed her in there, and and then more people I'm joined jealous. in and and there was some moshing to M545 which is one That's a little super group I noticed. Juan, yeah. Yeah, it's one from size 5, Scotty from Lack of Reason and which we saw saw him twice cuz Lack yeah, of Reason opened, opened the whole day. Right. Yeah, so good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's he's the dude that like had, like when he's warming up his wrist, it's amazing. It's like, like with a flippity flippity yeah, flippity flippity. No, 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 I can't even do it like any justice whatsoever, but wow. it's like a, like a metronome like Ramped all the way up. Right, that's what a drummer cool. is—a yeah. human metronome. I know. It just it's Good terribly know. impressive. Yeah. So that other guy I know, uh, I see him everywhere, and I can't remember the name. Uh, Tick me off. Or what other bands he's in? Yeah, I'll to give that a little thought. Oh, but he's uh, he was a part of Dick uh, Dick Satan Trio. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. It wasn't Russ. No bass player. Not 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 Russ not, plays bass. Not the Russ. That wasn't the Russ. Not Russ from the owner of Falloon of. of the Falloon. The Falcon Bowl. Yeah. Yep. All right. So that's music. Uh, also, Adventure Cycling rolled through our town. Yeah. I think we touched Thursday? on it. Thursday? Touched on it last week. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, Noel Kegel from Wheel and Sprocket is on the board. I believe he's the treasurer. So he's the one responsible for pilfering all the funds from- Saw him last night. <laughs> from Adventure Cycling. No. Highly done. Uh, it was a great event. There was- there, there was, there, there, there was, there was, there was, well, well, there was. Put the needle on the record. Put the, put the, put the, put the click, needle on click, the record. Click. <laughs> Lots of people attended. That's there where I'm go. going with this. And uh, I would say 150. Wow. Or more, mm. possibly. Was that the wheel and sprocket at Bayview? Bayview. Fresh. And they had Foggy Geezer, among other beers. And it cost zero oh my. dollars Why for didn't whatever. Why did you text me about that? Zero you didn't dollars. Say there was free beer. It's kind of like the twenty four. You kind of got to make an effort. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck, if I'd have known that. Turn about fair play. Our good buddy Dave came down and was uh, was hawking the uh, wares for the up north routes with bike packing stuff, and he had his Omnium there. So we did a pretty decent, I think, interview outside of Wheel and Sprocket of Dave and his Omnium built for dog packing. Cool. I got. I did after. Looking at it, I'm like, damn, I wish we did some B-roll for it just to show the bike more. And so I just put it up the way it was because it was it's decent. He talks a lot about good stuff. Mild divergent, but did you see the new Amtrak route to Minnesota? Mm-hmm. I have heard of, have not seen yet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not investing too much of my. I'm pretty, my, my I mean, love of it. Yeah, I think that goes really close to Dave. Uh, oh, sure. It's certainly closer than we are right now. 
I would enjoy that route so much. So I want to do it. I, I, I need an excuse to go to Minneapolis. I well, love there's it. that, and there's L.A. Cross. All right. And, you know, if you have to go to the Dells, it's easy. So it's be it. Be, yeah. It's better than driving there. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Anyway. So I'll have the I'll have that video, but Dave is going to send some. He's going to do a little video with Cowboy actually in the thing, and do a little B roll that we can I can re edit this. So look at it now and then look at it later. Hear me now. Believe, now believe and- me later. Uh, <laughs> and I also got to mess around for you tech geeky people <laughs> with the uh, a thing called Podcast AI from Adobe. Okay. Which it was kind of windy and I didn't put the dead cats on. Like I was like, oh, I probably should put dead cat, ah, whatever. Let's just do this. And then there's also a train that goes right by there. Right. Oh, yeah. Like right, right next, by there. Right by there. And so there was some, some ambient noise, you know, some wind and the train and stuff. And it's atmospheric. Yeah. It got you in the but mood. It, at, as it was recorded, it was a little blustery. So this, this Adobe AI thing, you can change how much it's actually doing. So you could like take it all the way out. It sounds real unnatural and stupid. But you do it like halfway, and it makes it better, but you still have the ambient sounds, although they're more <laughs> muted. So if you're wondering how we got that audio so awesome, that's how. I, I haven't talked about how much time I spent today fucking with Adobe products. Adobe? Shlun, Shlun, so it's Adobe? something they like, it's, it's like a semi, it's company, like a semi-docking. <laughs> Is it a semi-docking? Semi-docking. <laughs> Um, They're horrible. They are, and they, and now you don't buy your product anymore. No, it's all online. All and, and if based. you have the full-on thing where you're using a goodly amount of their stuff, it's 660 bucks a year Shit. to use their stuff. If you are a person that needs to use that stuff, I just saw a thing, and I don't know the dates, but if you do it before May 14th or something and pay for a year, you get it at 40% off, which is like a lot. I mean, I use Enough. several of their things, including Audition for doing the show. So I'm trying to find a way to replace every single Adobe app with something that works as well or better or close enough and don't have to pay that 660 a year because that's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Or, Considering the show makes zero if, dollars if, per or, year. Or you can, only, get a, <laughs> you can get a job with UWM. And then somehow, say, if only you knew no, someone from UWM that could in, log in with it and install it for you. Apparently, I have a job there already. Oh yes, yeah. In who the knew? business, in the business program, did, who, did you put that up there or did he? <laughs> I did. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I want my Adobe guest subs- lecturer. I want my Adobe subscription. Now. I literally did a double take when I walked. You're, like, you're going to have to like, show up to a business administration two hundred and sixty and two hundred and sixty three yeah. or something like that. I can't right? remember which I, ones. They I saw were. my my office hours are <laughs> and, very and, short. And Eleven to sure one, and make sure it's north, two and to not four. south, or vice versa, because yeah. that building is confusing. I could have done that. Oh Lord, yes, yeah. It is a, uh, it is a, I'm used to it again. They're very now, nice rooms. They're very nice. But so yeah, so it, it also during COVID or pre COVID, I don't know what happened, but all of the first floor lecture halls are sponsored by a former professor. So I'm guessing oh. they paid for that. Sure. Well yeah, because uh, Lubar, Lubar jumped in and got it retitled Right. Him well no Lubar, the, that the building family. was always built for Lubar. No. Yeah, I remember because it was a it was a lot when I went to school. There sure, it was a vacant. But I don't lot. think I don't think they named it that right out of the gate. I think it was just the business administration building. Mm, I'm not positive. We can look into that. We both worked there. Exactly. I'm pretty sure it was Sheldon B. Lubar because Cleon was joking about a picture of him on the wall um, when she was in class there, and she's like, "Wow, he must have been like you know he must have been a great person." And the teacher walked by and was like, "We well, was here yesterday." And Molly's like, oh God, he's still alive. <laughs> Not like Jeremiah Curtin. Right? Which has the prison building. Oh, yeah. Oh, that building's Boy, funny. there's some weird architecture. For having an architectural school on campus, they have some buildings. Way after all that. That some of those buildings are the not AUP so great. AUP started way after they they didn't even have an architectural program when the College of Business or I'm sorry, the Curtin, his frightening building, and Cunningham Hall, which was also another riot building. Yeah, no. See the hole in the ceiling? Oh, he's a Virgo. See that? Yeah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Oh, look at him. September 6, 1835 till December 14th, 1906. Why do we still have a building he named let, after he him? He led a blameless life. Wait. Oh, wait. Is that, <laughs> no, is that uh, he's not like Erasmus. Erasmus B. Wolcott? <laughs> right. 
Uh, and what, folklorist, and ethnographer, what, and translator. What was Erast, Erasmus's horse's name? <sighs> First Surgeon General of Wisconsin, folks, if you need your Wisconsin history today. <laughs> We're covering all bases. No doubt, no doubt, no but, doubt. Well, but the picture of the guy, a picture of that guy. Huh? Nice beard. It's huge. It, I mean, it's like the size of like a wall. But they had to repaint and like remodel, and it disappeared. Painted over? No, just got dis- just disappeared. Now it is in the lecture hall, but it it snuck away for a while. And one of my professors was none too pleased about it. No, well, and he was like, "Where's this? Is Belchy beer? I just belchied. Oh wait, are we there? Oh yeah, we could be there. That'll save me something to talk about after we have a beer. All right. Then. I got it. J.K. dodged the raindrops. And you brought us delicious did beer. Did you successfully dodge? Yep. Oh, oh we just, both it, have successfully dodged it rain. It tinkled today. a little bit r- as about two blocks from house. Oddly enough, the driver got wet today. Oh? You had your golf clubs out? You were walking to your car and got wet. I. It was pouring. Oh, yeah. They, that faucet went on. And then I was just moseying down the street and saw... Coming out of the out That's of the sewer awesome. grate, right down a block from here, shooting about four feet in the air was water. I've got video I can show JK after because I don't think he's. I'm yet. sure my basement's wet right now. I was wondering about that. We're pretty good. I don't. We've never really had a problem. At I have my a house, minor, but I have minor bliss. leak. Ignorance is bliss. At I have times. a minor leak. Yeah, don't even go in the basement. Just wait. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 yeah you don't want to have to put the waiters yeah, on to go in the basement. Do <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 freak out. So mm. did you pick this up at the at the local uh, Otto to go get, get Plato? Yes. Oh, you went to Otto's. Otto's. Bell's Hazy Hearted IPA. Bell's makes good beers. They do, and I don't think I've had this Hazy Hearted. It's I, delicious. I've had it on tap once. Ooh, and it's on tap. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Ooh, do you remember tasty. where? It's smoothish. It's I want to say it's not super bitter. I want to say the Nomad. Interesting. Because I think they had on a, a like which a rotational, is, which is now bit. sold, right? <laughs> More or less. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's still gonna. Mike's still gonna be there, but he sold, he sold it years pri- ago. It's not his primary. He sold the property years ago. Oh, now he's selling the biz. The biz, and he's still gonna be a managing partner, but still one of the best bars in Milwaukee. If you want to come it's up a here and great bar, check great that Bloody out. Mary, good staff, friendly people, great people watching just good to hang judgment out. Judgment corner. No yes. Matter, no matter what, will which occur in is life. a good six to seven month a year. Corner, oh, yeah, exactly. And it is it, the funny part is, if you go out there and you, you'll just notice that these people are total tourists, even if they're residents. They're you know, oh, I've never been here, blah, 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 blah. but they'll get on that corner and sit and, and get, if you're if you're just nearby judgy. and you'll overhear them and they'll just be, like, what the hell is that guy? What yep. are you doing? What it's is just, this all about? It it's you, like it yeah, makes you do it. There's you, something you in the spirit. Can't. It's amazing. Awesome. You can't stop. <laughs> There's just so much fodder on that corner too, though. True, that you have you the best one of the best vantage points. Can't really just, help it. Was, it. it was like 125 years ago, but I remember going there, and there was a dude who had managed to pull a clawfoot tub over and was sitting in it outside in the middle of the winter as an art exhibit. So it was like live performance art. Yeah, and there was it was filled with water, and he had some sort of something figured out to have the water flowing. Like, he plugs some pump into the water. It was just like, the hell's going on here? Oh, there was actually water in it? Oh, yeah. he was, And he was hanging out in it, and it was snowing, <laughs> and the water was definitely not warm. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, my senior art project. I'm like, fair enough. carry on. Right on. Carry on. <laughs> like, Good work. Hope you're okay. There's a uh, story on bikepacking.com. Have I mentioned before how I like bikepacking.com? You have. Probably have. It, you should like that. They have a thing where you join and you get their fancy, good-smelling magazine, amongst other things. You can get entered in a contest several times a year. Kind of like a supporter of the site thing. Sort of you, like we the support. The contest you're never going to win, that one? They've got some nice pedals this time around, too. And you're not sort of like you support you know, WMSE, except that you get all sorts of cool shit because we live locally. <laughs> Pint glass this year is so I saw that. looking. I might have to be I, one of my uh, pledge uh, that, yeah, things for sure. I don't know how that's going to work out. I did. My, I didn't, I, okay. I'm I need so, six I, of them, though. So, All right. I'm already a sustaining member, and I haven't re-upped it because it comes out cleverly to $66.60 every year at five fifty. But you did donate on my. I do a one-timer on each one. Me too. 
And actually, you know, this year I'm doing a three timer. I did it. Uh, yeah, I'm on my third time. Yes, I'm on my third time. I did zero hour, uh, shape of shape of rock, and Tony. Tony, Tony Burger. Well, yeah, well, Billy's I, Billy, Billy show. show. Billy Show. Yeah, that was was, was that uh, Fat Tire Tony or Fat Fat, fat Mike Mike? Fat no, Mike Tony. No, no, I, I didn't they, they called out Michael, but they knew who you were. Sid knew who you were. Yeah, all right. Well, she gave. Yeah. You gotta love being. Well, yeah. I'm she, sorry, but she gave like. Uh, her or uh, George <clears throat> Bluvis, I'll use last names. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of beer from Water Street Brewing, yeah. um, they won their team ticket or whatever, and then walked by. And I'm just like, Hey, how you doing? And you're like, Oh, do you need tickets? Yep, boom. So I got their three tickets. So one of her tickets allowed me to enter in. So that was part of my little tappy tappy. Comments awesome. that that humans tend no, to read was, verbatim. I that's why you, you got to proofread your own shit when you <laughs> you're tap, tapping and donating well, I, online. I did a call in and uh, I got the oldest lady and she couldn't figure out anything. That's why I do it online. And she didn't call me guitar smasher. She called me something. I'm like, let's just get through with this guitar ravager. Good, yeah. But then she, it was funny <laughs> because Billy made comment and made comment that it was the first first. Sid made comment that it was the Shiver West 24, and then mm-hmm. Billy's like, it's the first Shiver West 24. I'm like, well, technically not. I heard some of that, too. And I was like, right. uh, that's Remember right. where we started with this, with the bike packing thing? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, Let's get just, back to that. So some people like to carry their cameras on their bikes. You? I'm working on that. There's so many different ways to do it. You can just throw it in a backpack. You can throw it on. Oh, your I thought you were talking about strap. mounting it. Speaking of which, well, there's we ways have to Zach do that on the too. Because he's a serious. You met Zach. Oh yeah. Got, he, he should be on the show. His camera's too heavy. It probably weighs more than my bike. Likely, it's a big camera. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you carry your camera on your bike? I don't know. It's something to check out if you like. Strap. Actually, carry it on your bike you versus now. carrying it in a backpack or strapped. Because it's really hard to wear a strap, but I did see a video on YouTube recently where it's a nice sling arrangement where it rides in the middle of your back, and then somehow you swing. Wow, I need this. Yeah, <laughs> kapow, kapow, and then you can, <laughs> then you can slap it back. There's all sorts of ways to do this stuff. I've got all the information. Yeah, you need all the all the content creation you can imagine happens when you're riding your bike. I put my uh, I put my pre order in for my Omnium Mini Max Mini Electric version. Oh, don't tell me it's it's got the it's got a nice Shimano uh, mid drive with a five speed hub of some type, which I can't recall right now. But it's an internally geared five speed, so it's a belt drive. Wow! Right? Oh, I'm, is that the SA belt drive with the electric and the? It, the five speed it might it's, it's made for electric bikes, so it may be the Sturmy Archer five speed with oh, because you're going mid drive, mid drive with belt drive. Yep, action. I should have it hopefully by next show. Maybe I might have to go down to Chicago to pick it up, but I will be throwing the shekels down on Friday, most likely. Oh, nice, but it and it's you know what color it is, blurple, blue purple, blueberry, it's blurple. I well, it's kind of it. like it's kind of like one of those things where you look at it from one angle, it's blue. You look at it another one, it's kind of it changes. It's all right, uh, all you podcast listeners. I'm gonna beat Greg to death if he doesn't tell me as soon as he gets this blurple because that sounds gorgeous. I like saying the word blurple. Blurple. Uh, they also have it in uh, black and uh, also a copperhead, which I almost it's really cool too because it's metallic. But yeah. I think I don't know. I get my numbers mixed up, but. They really don't have that many, and it's unlikely they're going to get a bunch more this year. So I think they have like 40 of the E in between the cargo and the Mini Max. I don't know what the ratio of one to the other is. But if you were thinking of an Omnium with the motor, you might want to get in on that sooner than later for this year. And say hey to Brandon. Say Greg. Say Greg. Say Sven. Say Sven. Say Sven. Either one of these things. But- that's two different guys you could say sent yeah. you. Four letters how, each. How can I put a 74-pound four-year-old in the front of that? They have a really cool thing with a backrest and everything that is like... Styling and profiling. It's like yeah. the camera. Yeah. You just strap it in. 
Yeah, you just wrap it with just, duct tape. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, surly uh, super I can't. I, am, I cannot hear you with that duct tape over your mouth. I, I am, <laughs> for the record, I am creating a monster on a cargo bike because Daniel is now, every morning, are we riding to school? He sings all the way to school. You need to get your fucking toddlers on a bike. You should get a camera, mount I it should. backwards, and record his ass singing oh, on the so way to school. Funny. It's so funny. Content. Was Puff the Magic Dragon? It was just like he just randomly How does starts he know Puff the Magic Dragon. School. Oh, nice. Oh, they're good people. Was that Jackie Paper? Wait a minute. What was who was Freddie with the flute? The Magic Flute. Ah, uh, that's not Sigmund and Snow. Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Oh that? shit! Speaking right? of that, he, uh, they did a screening of the documentary about Sigmund Snowpeck, local musician. Yeah. Doubling back. Yeah. On that, first apparently the, the <laughs> documentary is like first eight and a half <laughs> hours or something. What? From what I heard. It was at Lindemans. Like the first cut is like eight eight plus hours or you know, some uh, shit. Like you know, our, our friend Marcus, friend of the show, fat bike rider, his dad was Sigmund's guy at oh, EWM. Yeah. That yeah, was, yeah. He was yeah. a, an orchestra. Really? He was a composer, and uh, uh, that's where Sig got his chops, I guess. I mean, oh, and I saw a Voot. There was a Voot sighting this weekend, too, as well. Many are the Voots that Voot around the River West neighborhood. Voot warnings. Yeah. Dance, motherfucker. Dance. Now we hit the E. Uh, he's he's <laughs> Explicit content. <laughs> he's back to being somewhat healthy again, I believe. Yeah. Well, mentally, definitely. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. He's still got his kinks oh, and whatever. Yeah. I mean, he replaced part. You know, he's getting old like, sucks. Well, and becoming robotic yeah. yeah i think <laughs> i think it may be too late to um, jump in on the super early fat tire tour of milwaukee buy a ticket at the cheapest possible price but it's really medium close price now right it's it? it's not medium price. it's not overpriced yet yeah it's in the three <laughs> five ish land i want to say skate park so this year is uh peewee's 30th Thing. It's a Pee Wee theme. Uh, it's definitely something if you even live within 24 yeah. hours of Milwaukee, you should probably come yeah, and do it's it. It's a fun, it's fun, definitely fun, worth fun time. Worth seeing. Being a spectator is almost better than being a participant. Well, I just got to get to the skate park. Yeah, spectator exactly, on a bike. What yeah. skate park? The one on the south side? Yeah. The benefit Conkle. for the skate park. Conkle oh, park. that Same day. skate park. The, the there's another skate park over there. This or one's over there. Right. Is that yep. the same day? Mm-hmm. Dag nabbit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turf. Hey, guess what? I'm going to have to ride out there. I know. An Omnium. Omnium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, as much as I love the Fat Tire Tour. I'll that, start, I'll do the launch. Yeah. It's yeah, 10 I, the I'll do the launch and then we'll head over thing. there because those shows are going to be yeah. freaking great. I agree 100%. Whose phone's making noise? Mine. What's Sorry. it saying? What's it doing? What's it smelling? And what's it? Why is it making racket? Mm, I don't know. Local live right now with Jinxie. Yes, that's oh, the problem yeah. with having Where's our that? shows on Tuesdays. Uh, Anna Anna and Bruce, it's on YouTube. Yeah, for only an hour or something. Yep. It. Yeah, mm. but that is Jinxie's show. Can, I'm going to definitely hey, be watching that. I don't know. We can YouTube. go back to Wednesday. I don't care. We should kick it around because we, you we know do what, miss you, on a couple of great shows. You do know why we do it on Tuesday? Because J.K. had. Off on Wednesday afternoons, and it was very hard to come in here without <laughs> being three sheets to whatever wind he was, was blowing. He was four sheets to the wind. Seven. Sometimes seven yeah, sheets. Yeah, I mean, you were pretty right. <laughs> Indeed, yes. <laughs> and it's also summertime, so you know, going to swing indoor and having a few beers and doing a show, that's ah, a lot of work all in one day. I'm telling you, those hot dogs do, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn weenie Wednesdays. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> they're so good. All right, everybody. We have done did it again. We wasted a half an hour of your good people's time. And by Look cracky, we'll do it again dot. next week. It's education and entertainment. Yeah, there was, we even talked about the his, Wisconsin hysterical stuff. We covered all the bases. We man. got it going. We got hysteria. Meow. I think, I've been thinking we should just go take this show over to River West Radio and just do it over there because it's, you know, a lot of Milwaukee stuff. We could, people would suffer through the bike stuff just to listen to Milwaukee shit. I think so. All right, Instead next, of the other way next week for now. Bye. Bye.